So You Think You Can Dance, Season 10. Let's go. Well, hello, I'm back. And I'm going to be doing Season 10 of So You Think You Can Dance. Um, finally, we finally got through all the auditions and all Vegas week. So now it's top 20 and they're going to reveal to you one by one, they're gonna perform, you know, the drill. So let's start talking about it. So first up is Fiction and Mariah. They were both selected, they're hip hop dancers. Emilio was selected, he got an injury, so he's not gonna be uh, participating this season. But so is Mariah and Fiction. I like Fiction. I think he is a good personality, he's a good character. I'm interested to see how he does, um, but I am rooting for him. I, I do like him a lot, he makes me smile. Um, and Mariah, I saw from last season, she was a crump girl. I expect good things from her. They did a Luther Brown routine. I thought it was good. I didn't think it was fantastic. Um, but I expect good things from both of them. So next we were introduced to some contemporary dancers. Uh, Mackenzie, Jasmine, who is actually Cyrus's ex-girlfriend, who uh, is kind of a phenomenal dancer from what I've seen so far. Um, this guy Tucker who got in a car accident and Nico who from his audition was my favorite. I'm really excited that he's in. I, I can say uh, that he so far is my favorite guy dancer that I've seen. He is very intricate. He has good musicality. Um, watch this audition if you haven't. It's fantastic. Um, but so they dance the CC2 contemporary routine. Um, I didn't feel the emotion but they're all really good technically. Um, and. I'm really excited about this because top 20, I always am rooting for all of them. So I'm hoping that they all do well um, and that they get partnered with good, good people. So next we were introduced to three tappers, Alexis, Aaron, and Curtis. And they dance an Anthony Mahajarto routine. I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I pronounced that correctly. Um, and this tap routine was one of the most entertaining tap routines I've seen on the show ever. Um, I thought they were really entertaining, they had a good uh, performance, um, good good charisma, it was just a good routine altogether. And tap is very, it's very easy to notice when they're not together. Um, so I think they did a great job for this being the first time performing uh, on stage. So congratulations, good job. Next we were introduced to two animators who were selected for top 20, Blueprint and Jade. Um, if you saw my reviews last season, you would know that I wasn't Cyrus's biggest fan, um, but that doesn't mean that I'm against all animators. I want um, <laughs> them to do well. I am rooting for them. I'm hoping that they are able to pick up the routines. These routines, obviously, on So You Think and Dance, the level is so high. Um, so the, my expectation is high. The judge's expectation is high. Um, so I'm hoping that they are able to pull through and uh, really, really show me that, yes, like, yes, I hope an animator goes far. I think Blueprint, from what I've seen, is fantastic. I think Jade has a great personality. So, um, you know, I hope they do well. I really do. The next people who made the top 20 were Carlos, Haley, and Melise. Melise is a blonde girl with a short hair. I'm sure you'd recognize her if you saw her. Um, the other two are fairly new. They dance in Mia Michael's contemporary contemporary piece and I think the story was about um, an affair. Carlos was the guy who obviously loved both of them and at the end it was one of those routines that you need to watch again because there's so many things that you can miss the first time um, and those are the type of routines that I just love so and I'm obviously so excited that Mia Michaels did a routine. I hope that she uh, does more routines throughout this season. Um, I like her longer hair. I just hope Mia Michael stays. This routine was great. I really liked it. I thought uh, the music was good. Everything was good about this. So I'm excited. I I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. The ballroom people were up next. Jenna, Brittany, Alan, and Paul were all selected. Alan was the guy with the brother. Um, he had the longer hair. It's short now. I think it looks better. Um, Jenna's got these really vibrant green eyes. I think she's got a great look. Um, I'm excited for her. I'm really hoping she does well. Um, Paul, if you remember correctly, he was the guy who won uh, So You Think You Dance Armenia. I think he's took a place from one of the guys. I really don't like that he was selected for the show. I'm going to be extra hard on this guy, Paul. I uh, don't know why they allowed him to be on the show. They're not going to let a, a winner from So You Think You Dance Canada to be on So You Think You Dance United States. So. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't know how you guys feel. I'd actually really like to know how you guys feel about this because I'm not a huge fan. But 
the routine in general was all right. I didn't think it was the most amazing ballroom um, piece of choreography, um, choreographed by Louis Van Amsel, but I always enjoy a good ballroom, so again, excited. Finally, the last two girls were selected, Amy and Jasmine Mason. They danced a jazz piece choreographed by Sonia, and this was my personal favorite of the night. Uh, I just thought, wow, Amy was so captivating. She hit everything with such precision. Um, she's my favorite girl so far, and I was just like, wow, wow, I'm just in love with this girl, Amy. Um, and I couldn't take my eyes off her, and when I did look at Jasmine, it wasn't as strong, but I still like her look, and I think that she could do well. Um, but Sonia outdid herself with this piece. I loved it. So then they did a top 10 guys routine, top 10 girls piece. Um, the guys piece by Christopher Scott. Christopher Scott is an amazing group choreographer. He did a piece with sand. I just thought this was interesting, really intricate. Um, it's one of those pieces, again, where I need to rewatch because I just miss some stuff that I want to catch. Um, and I just loved it. And then the girls' routine was choreographed by Ray Leeper. It was kind of underwhelming. I didn't actually enjoy it. I thought they were capable of doing a lot more. Um, and I don't know why they gave it to Ray Leeper to do that. I really thought that they could have given um, the top 10 girls a better choreographer. My opinion, no offense, Ray Lieber. Um, how can you not take offense? <laughs> but anyways, uh, I, I thought the guys actually did better. And then the top 20 um, was done by Sonia, uh, the group piece, so that was good. In general, I thought, I think this uh, season is looking good, it's looking strong. I'm hoping that the partner and the partnering uh, flows well and uh, that we get a result show and that like we don't have to miss two weeks because of the Olympics and like all that nonsense that happened in season nine. I hope we're done with. I hope we can move on and that we can properly do season 10. I think the contestants deserve it. So I'm really excited. Uh, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are excited that I'm doing these reviews again. Um, I'm actually really excited I'm doing them. I was like, oh, I can't wait. Um, but I'm caught off guard that it was on Tuesdays. I kept on missing the shows because I was like, Wednesdays? When did they move it? When did they, I didn't get any uh, notice, but it's Tuesdays now, so uh, make sure that you keep Tuesdays open. I'm going to have to keep Tuesdays open. Um, and yeah, that's it, pretty much. So leave a comment, and see you next week. Peace!